So we can say for practical purposes, I put a question mark that electrical activity is there, but it is so small electrical activity that our machines cannot pick up, right? So we can say that there is electrical silence in the heart. When AV node is passing through depolarization process, when AV node conduction is going on, we we'll say heart is electrically silent. Heart is electrically silent. Is that right? So for about 0.1 second or the duration for which current is passing through AV node, heart become electrically silent and no significant electrical vector is produced to fluctuate the needle. Is that right? Now we come to the next cardiac event. Next electrical event in the cardiac cycle is that now current has come to, yes please, where it has reached? To Purkinje system. Through bundle of his, current will come to the right bundle branch and it will go to the, yes please, left bundle branch. And these bundle branches are made of specialized myocardial cells which are called Purkinje cells. And Purkinje cells are specialized in slow conduction or fast conduction. These are specialized in fast conduction. Is that right? Now, listen carefully. That the current, electrical current, as soon as it is released by AV node into Purkinje system, first they will depolarize the septum of the ventricle. Then the current will go to the major portions of the ventricles. And this is the apex of the ventricle and this is the base of the ventricle. As current is... Yes, current means depolarizing current. As depolarizing current enters into ventricles through the bundle of hairs and bundle branches, the first portion to be depolarized are septum of the ventricle, septum of the ventricle, interventricular septum. The next portion which will be depolarized is major part of the ventricle. And last portion of the ventricle which receives the current because current is moving like this and like this. This is the base of the ventricle. Remember, this is the apex, this is the base of the ventricle. So it means that ventricle depolarizes in three stages. First, there is the very rapid stage of septal depolarization, then major ventricular depolarization and basal depolarization. I will analyze the depolarization of every stage one by one and make their vectorial analysis. Let's make another separate diagram to understand Okay, let's suppose this is the interventricular septum and this is the left ventricle and here it is right ventricle. This is the right ventricular myocardium, right? This is the left ventricular myocardium and let's suppose that here it is your friend AV node. Naturally when current was passing through AV node, heart was electrically silent. Then current was released through bundle of his to, yes, it is released where? To the bundle branches. And these bundle branches will take the current to the septum. Right? Now, first I will show you how the ventricular septum undergoes depolarization. Now, this is the septal myocardium. Remember that interventricular septum, upper part is fibrous. Upper part is, yes please, fibrous. And lower part is muscular. This is fibrous tissue. And lower part is muscular. Now actually, fibrous tissue make a sleeve around these bundle branches. And this fibrous covering on the bundle branches are acting as insulating layer. You know, as, you know, wires have the rubber sleeving, Electrical wires have a rubber on them, rubber act as insulator. In the same way when bundle branches are coming down, they are having fibrous cover on that, right, act as insulator. Now, this is the ventricular septal myocardium. This is septal myocardium. Septal myocardium is stimulated by the left bundle branch. It is not stimulated by the right bundle branch. Why? Because there are some connections here and left bundle branch gives stimulation to the septal myocardium. But right bundle branch take the current downward but it does not stimulate directly to septum. So it means myocardial septum is stimulated by the left side or by the right side? Yeah. It is 
left side. So first there will be depolarization of left side of the interventricular septum. And this wave of depolarization will start from the left side of the septum, right? It will it is not only left side of the septum we stimulate, it is also stimulate the lower part of the septum. So we say wave of depolarization is produced in the ventricular septum in its lower and left portion. And this wave of depolarization sweeps from the left side, right side and from lower to upper part. So this wave of depolarization moves from left to right and from down to up. So we can say that when ventricular septum is undergoing depolarization process, right, depolarizing currents are moving from left and lower portion of the septum towards right and upper portion. Is that right? Now, so we can make a vector of it. The vector of this septal depolarizing current, the depolarizing vector is a small vector. Why? Because as compared to the big part of the ventricle, septum is a having little myocardium. Is that right? So there is a small vector, but this vector is moving, yes, rightward and upward. Right? So this vector represents electrical activity of septal depolarization. Now you understand why the septal depolarization is a small vector because myocardial septum is a small tissue. Number one, it's a small vector. Number two, this vector is directed rightward and upward because left bundle branch, uh, sorry, left bundle branch stimulate the left and lower portion of the myocardium. From there, current moves to rightward and upward, right? So we can show in this diagram this vector, right? And this vector is a small vector right this is a small vector depolarizing vector and this vector represents which activity septal depolarization which is rightward and upward do you think it's a moderate or slow conductor or fast conductor of course it has Purkinje system and that help it fast conduction so we can say during the septal depolarization the ventricular septal depolarization electrical vector is generated which is small but fast vector which is moving rightward and upward, right? So how many electrical events we have discussed? Number one, atrial depolarization. When SA node fired, there was atrial depolarization, a small vector moving downward and leftward with moderate velocity, not fast velocity. Next electrical event was current was passing through AV node. But when current was passing through AV node, right? Conduction was very slow and AV nodal tissue is extremely small, so electrical activity is not significant.